Hello friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And I'm here today to talk about Azure Standard again because the more I purchase from them, the more happy I am with this company. Even though I've been buying from them for many years, it just seems like I keep finding more stuff. I don't know if it's that they keep adding more stuff or I'm just finding more stuff to purchase from them. So I'm really lessening how much I'm buying from Amazon and other such places. But anyway, I wanna talk, there's several things I wanna cover. And one is for the sake of those who are outside of a drop point like we are and how to price compare. I also am gonna be talking about some of the products I normally buy, the new products I've been getting and some of the other products I have yet to try that I've been finding that they're carrying or will be carrying soon. It's very exciting. So first off, let's talk about those shipping prices. I did do a short on this, but I want to go into a little bit more detail. So I just brought out a few of the easier grab kind of items that I have because a lot of things I do order in 50 pound bags, such as their organic non-GMO popcorn. One of the reasons I love Azure Standard is because they carry a lot of organic stuff. Not everything they carry is necessarily organic. Just make sure you pay attention and read up on it. But yes, popcorn, that's one of the things that's most important because if it's organic, then that automatically also means that it is non-GMO. And that is, if you go to the USDA regulations on organic, non-GMO has to be a part of that. So that is a requirement if it's labeled as organic. Anyway, when, you're, you, when you live in a, a remote area like we do and the closest drop point is at least 60 miles away and you're too busy, to be able to afford the time, as well as the wear and tear in your rig and the fuel of driving that far to pick up your items. Oh, and then trying to organize around a specific schedule to make it work. For me, that's nearly impossible. I've tried a couple of times to get a, a drop point set up here. I know several others in town have tried to set up a drop point and they just won't do it. A lot of places won't deal with our area because we are very remote. And it's just too, it's just not worth their time and the cost of driving to come to our area. So what you have to do, if you're, if you're looking at the shipping prices, you go, wow, that's a really good price on a 50 pound bag of hard white wheat. And you put it in your cart and then you realize how much the shipping is going to cost, which is a lot because it's a heavy item. You have to remember that when you're buying stuff from a place like this, shipping isn't automatically included in the price as a lot of things are on Amazon. A lot of times if you see something with free shipping, it simply means shipping is already being included in the price. That's the only reason why it's free. So with that in mind, when you add something to your cart, then go act as if you're gonna check out and then you'll find out what the shipping is on that item. Then what you do is you add that total shipping cost to that item. So let's say the 50 pound bag of hard white wheat is $50 and maybe the shipping is as much as 35. I, I don't know because I never order just one bag at a time. So I can't, I'm usually when I'm figuring shipping costs, I'm adding a bunch of stuff together. Add that all into the cost, then break it down by the pound. And in most cases, what I have found is that Azure Standard still ends up being less when I figure in the shipping and the price per pound. So once you figure out that price per pound, you're like, wow. And then you can go, let's say you buy some stuff on Amazon, some of the same things. Go look. A lot of times Amazon will tell you the price per pound or the price per ounce, or you can simply do the math and figure that out. And there have been, there was one other place I found that somebody linked me to that had free shipping if you ordered a certain amount. But when I, and when I did the comparison, it was a few cents less to go with that company on one of their products. But the other ones I checked out, Azure Standard was still less expensive, even with the shipping costs added in. And then here's the other thing is with Azure is when you do orders with them, you do build up points and you can actually get a few dollars off future orders when you do that it's usually not a lot but it can help and it can help cut the cost of that shipping as well if you have an azure standard account anyone can do this you can create a referral link 
to any one product or to the whole store. And then when you share that with other people and they go through that referral link and they spend at least $100 or more, which is easy to do when you're talking about buying foods in bulk, then you get a $25 credit that will be applied towards your next order. And so that has really helped me out when people buy through our links and then order a minimum of $100 or more. And then we get we build up those $25 credits and then we end up not having to pay shipping and sometimes it even co covers the cost of some of the groceries themselves. So that has really helped us a lot to save money and I don't have to spend the extra time and money driving into town to go pick my order up. Now let's talk about the items that I have purchased and am purchasing. They're not in yet. I just did an order where I added a bunch of new things to my order. But what you see right here, I mentioned the popcorn. I get sunflower seeds in bulk, so I always look for organic when, it talk, when I'm talking about this stuff. Patrick loves to snack on sunflower seeds, so I buy these and then I vacuum seal them into jars. Same thing with chia seeds and other types of nuts. I've got Brazil nuts coming in on this next order. I've done the same thing with their peanuts. They have some great organic peanuts. And um, sometimes you can find them pre-salted, sometimes not, but you can always just salt them yourself. I mentioned the grains, like here's just a, a jar. I actually keep a bigger jar in the other room next to my grinder, but I had made so much at one time, the blend, that I had enough to go in a smaller jar as well. But what this is, is a blend of, actually I don't think this is a blend. I think this is just barley, because I buy the organic whole barley and I mix that with hard white wheat and make my own blend and then I put it in a big jar and then it's all ready to go for me to grind up for making my own flour for making my own bread and here another example is their whole organic milk powder they also have it in the A2A2 so for those who have a harder time digesting whole digesting cow milk A2A2 is a good one to go with so I have that as well um, this is just another bag of the chia seeds back here, or the split green peas. I do like making a split pea soup every so often, but I this is something that during the laying season, I add it to my chicken scratch. They won't eat it if I add it in there when they're not laying. So it kind of tells you something. They know when they need more protein. So I'll mix a little bit of that in there with their chicken scratch. And the other thing that I was really excited to find and ordered up this time, because I was like, okay, it's time for me to order up some more grains for making my chicken scratch that I throw to the chickens every morning. And I don't know how, this has probably been in here for a while, but I only just noticed it the other day, was I found that you can buy chicken feed quality grains and sit and it's still organic and non-gmo but because it might still have the holes on it it hasn't maybe still has little bits of rocks hasn't been sorted you can get it for almost half the price as you can for the grains that you get that are ready for human consumption because the chickens they'll eat the holes and everything it doesn't bother them that's what they're used to in nature and if they get a little rocks in there, fine. That's just something that they can get in their gizzard to help them crush up the food. So I ordered us some oat groats, wheat blend. It has the red, the white, all kinds of different wheat. It might be a lot of broken pieces. Again, it's not sorted. It may have the hulls, whatever. Lots, lots cheaper. So when it comes to making the chicken scratch, I'm going to be saving so much money doing it that way. And I think I also got barley that was still had the holes on it. So you can go to a special section on there that's just animal feed and you'll find those in the chicken feed part of the animal feed and they do carry other types of animal feed as well um, i have ordered their organic cheese uh, they carry the rumiano i think it's called brand and that is a great organic cheese you can get that now you can get it in the smaller eight ounce things. It only costs a couple of dollars more to get just a bunch of those than it costs to get the big brick. And the nice thing about that is because they're all pre-wrapped, those can be easier to just throw in your freezer and then pull them out as you need them or keeping them wrapped until you need them. Because all it's not, the thing is with cheese, even if it gets a little mold on it, you can just cut it off. That's how I grew up, that's what we did. But if you keep it in its in the wrap that it comes in, until you open it, it's usually not going to get mold. And then you can also wax it if you want. I have a video on that. 
I mentioned lots of nuts and seeds. I've been getting more and more of those from Azure Standard for the better price because I can get like the Brazil nuts. Best price right now that I've been able to find is for the organic ones is on Azure Standard. And then some other new things I added was their organic pasta. So you can get a bigger bag of pasta. So I thought I'd try a little bit of it first to see what I think. See if I like it as much as the Montebello organic brown that I get. But I, if it's, if I like it as much and it saves me that much and it saves me a lot more money, it's definitely going to be worth it for me to stock up on it from there. And then I also, um, some people know that I, I've been using the Anthony's beet powder, beetroot powder, and I love it but I found I could get it for half the price on Azure Standard for their brand. So I did get some of that ordered up and I'm anxious to give it a try and see if I like it as much as the Anthony's brand. And they have tons of herbs and spices that I knew that they have, but I kept forgetting to look at their prices. So I'm gonna start ordering any of the herbs and spices that I need that I don't already grow that they carry from them and anything else that, that um, they might not carry, then I'll still keep ordering from Frontier or Anthony's. And I know there's more products I've tried and that I've bought. I'm just not gonna remember all of them, but the main ones have always been the grains and I've been adding onto that more and more every time I do another order. So some other products that they do carry that I have yet to try are their essential oils, fresh produce, Cleaning supplies, healthcare, you know, beauty supplies such as shampoo and whatnot. And this is all going to be your more natural products that they're carrying because that's what they're about. They have lots of canned goods and they're going to start selling their own canning jars. And those will come with the superb brand, U.S. made lids as well. So I was pretty excited about that. Even though I personally don't need any more canning jars, I kind of want to buy some just to try them out, just to get a look at them. And, uh, but I, boy, I don't need any more canning jars, but I thought it was pretty exciting, especially with the direction Ball and Kerr have all taken. And I do suspect a lot of their jars are now being made in China instead of in the U.S., even though they claim they're still made in the U.S. I'm not really sure about that because there has been a change. And so, especially in the half gallon jars, they just don't hold up as well as the older ones did. So I'm curious to see how well the Azure Standard ones will do. And that's just scratching the surface. So I'll be linking to Azure Standard down below. And again, that's gonna be my referral link. And just go in there and start browsing and you might be surprised. Oh, I forgot to mention garden seeds. I was like, oh, they sell garden seeds in here too and all kinds of great stuff. So start browsing and you might be surprised at what you'll find. And remember, if you go through that link and order at least $100 worth, you don't have to order $100 worth. But if you do, then we get a $25 credit for our next order. And again, that really helps us out and covers the cost of shipping. Because sometimes when I'm ordering several 50 pound bags, shipping can be as much as $200. And so when I can get that covered, boy, it really helps us out a lot. Oh, and by the way, don't forget if... If you're wanting to know if you have a drop point near you, there's a, ma a place that you can go to when you go to their webpage that will, you, you can look that up. You think you put in your address and it will sh pull up all the areas where there are drop points, the closest ones to your area. So you can figure that out. And I think it will also give you contact information as to who, because there's going to be an organizer you have to contact and see if you can get added on there as a regular buyer and then start doing it that way. So if you have one close to you, that's going to be the best way to go. You're going to save the most money. You might still be charged some shipping charge costs, but it's going to be more spread out. So you're not paying as much. And I know that's going to vary depending on the drop point and the organizer. And also please share with us down below in the comments, if you like Azure Standard and you regularly order from them. What have you tried and what are your favorite products to order? And that might make me think, oh, I didn't think about that one too. And, and other people can learn from you as well. And thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.